When it comes to sorting cannabis, some buds are just destined for extraction. In this Debaco University video, it's going to provide you with a little bit more detail on buds that go into this particular category. All right, let's look at sorting cannabis buds destined for extraction. All right, so in this case, buds for extraction, the goal is not to focus on high quality looking flower, uh, since the end product will essentially be the same, the extract. So we're not looking so much at the aesthetics of the actual bud. This is more common for outdoor production simply because the buds produced tend to be more variable and not visually as appealing as those with indoor operations. So initially we might be going through and selecting out maybe the high grade buds, uh, mid grade, we could potentially go either way, uh, but low grade typically is gonna be for extraction. We're basing that on the visual um, aspect, and if they don't kind of look like they're gonna be that high quality looking or high quality aesthetics, then a lot of times those buds will go into the category to be extracted. Now, why would you go through extraction? Well, in mass production situations for extraction, there is less need for the time consuming art of trimming to make those buds look as good as they possibly can. This can also be important if you're looking to produce certain compounds and not a final showy dry flower as an end product. If you're looking for a certain terpene profile, certain terpene specifically, or just a cannabinoid extract. There's no sense in kind of going through the dead delicate process of producing the dry flower if you're looking at really isolating that particular compound, that's why you'd go through this extraction process. You also, as a grower, you need to know what you can produce. If you have a process dialed in, the odds of producing high quality dry flower are greater. However, if this would be a struggle, then extraction might be the way to go. If you know the quality of buds that you're gonna produce are not gonna be that great visually looking, not gonna be that kind of super A grade, you might want to go through and just have a plan to go through the process of extraction uh, to produce that end product that way instead of uh, a final dry flower product. So if you're looking at uh, targeting a compound while extraction will be able to remove individual components, you may want to try and target one and select a variety or cultivar that is known to produce high amounts of that material to maximize the extract concentrate that you look at producing. Since the extracts, again, can have some variable, whether you're looking at dry flour being the bud, uh, going to raw oil, refined, distillate, or isolate, um, you can see the different levels here. There's a certain end product that you're really looking at trying to determine, that's what I want to produce. Well, try to pick a cultivar, try to pick a variety that is known to produce a little bit higher value uh, of that particular goal product in the sense that the whole growing process, ideally you'll get more yield on your investment simply because you'll have a greater amount of extract in the end. So this is where it comes in not looking at producing a that high quality visual looking dry flower, looking at producing high quality chemicals and components within the plant. 